Welcome to the voiceover version of my daisy tutorial using the bokeh technique. Let's get started. I drew the outline for the daisies with an HB pencil onto this smooth watercolour surface and now I'm applying blue masking fluid with an old brush and I'm just painting on the whole of the daisies including the centre so I can really freely sort of paint my background wet in wet later. Once your painting is dried you can decide on the colours I'm using Payne's Grey and Permanent Yellow. I'm using a magic sponge and a natural sponge, but you could even use your stencil brush or a Q-tip. This is my circle stencil, which I did buy from Amazon. I'm just going to mix up some colours now for the background. So I've got yellow, I've got sort of a mid to dark green and then a very dark green. And I'm wetting the paper now with clean water with my size 14 round black velvet brush, really giving the paper a good soak before I apply my yellow paper paint which I, which I am doing here wet in wet quite random so don't worry about where you're going to place it have fun with it and now I'm applying that sort of mid green color and of course it's going to mix a little bit as well with the yellow so that's absolutely fine so you can just push the color around wet in wet I actually just making a little bit more color there so it's a mid to dark green really fully load your brush and apply this paint wet into wet and let it all sort of merge in to create a really nice soft atmospheric effect you know using wet in wet techniques as you saw there I added a little bit more of the phthalo turquoise just to make a really bit stronger green there and I thought I might quite I might paint some little circles as well just to try things out this technique is so new to me I'm really enjoying it but as you can see here I'm continuing on painting darks on top of the daisies now because when it's all dry and I take off the masking fluid you've got a lovely contrast of dark and light with the petals really coming forward it's time to allow your painting to dry before you start lifting off to create the bokeh effect so I'm using the magic sponge um, it's a sponge that you can buy from an art supplier but also you can get it from DIY stores hardware stores because it actually gets marks off painted walls as well in the house I'm so actually lifting off with clean water using the stencil and the magic sponge sponge to lift off the paint because watercolour isn't permanent so I've actually swapped now to a natural sponge just to show you can use that as well and another tip is to get a wide bowl of water I don't know if you noticed there but I did swap from my little trio pot to a larger bowl because it was very difficult to keep put, putting my sponge in and out of those that little trio when pot wipe there. off lift off with the sponge do dab with your paper towel afterwards so you haven't got any residue liquid a really good tip is to vary the size of your circles that really works well it looks so effective and once you've finished lifting off your circles allow your painting to dry again so I'm lifting off using the paper towel so once you remove the masking fluid start painting wet on dry some yellow in the center there so I'm painting it quite creamy to the left there and to the right hand side there's more light on that center so I'm going to dilute my paint with some clean water as you see I'm doing there take that excess off and then just soften here with the clean water so you still pick up the yellow but it'll be a lighter wash so it looks like the lights hitting that sort of right hand side of the center of the flower So I'm painting the stems in wet on dry using a mixture of the yellow, you could use a touch of the blue and the Payne's grey here, just varying the sort of tonal values, having it a little bit darker 
here and there and then a bit lighter at the bottom take your time with stems these aren't too tricky because they're a bit wider they're not too thin so you can just sort of fill in a little bit more and again I'm just varying the colors using this size six working wet on dry to begin with but then you can drop in other colors wet into wet as well I've allowed my painting to dry naturally and I'm working wet on dry now using my size six brush with some of the green just around the edge here here to the left to create some shadows and it looks quite effective and makes it look a little bit 3D. So I'm just working on this daisy to the left here, adding a little bit of water to that dark wash there. And it traveled a little bit too much. So I've just got my paper towel on standby here just to soften that dark. And I'm gonna allow my painting to dry. So I've gone back in again with my stencil, which you can do, you know, maybe that first part, you might wanna do a few and then decide if you want to add some more. But the other reason why I'm doing this, cause I'm actually um, using some of that bokeh effect over the top of some of the stems as well, which I thought would be quite effective. So I'm just lifting off as well with the paper towel to get rid of any of the excess fluid there. Working damp into damp to add a little bit more dark green, Payne's gray and yellow, just to build up that tonal value there to create some depth in the center of the daisies and also some texture as well. As you can see there, I'm stippling a little bit with the tip of my size six brush to create some texture there. I'm doing so as well on the left hand side here damp into damp so it's creamy dark color so it doesn't run too much so you've got a soft edge but it stays put and it doesn't move too much so I'm going to allow my painting to dry again and I'm next going to paint some shadows on the petals but not very much I don't want my painting to look like grey daisy so you've always got to leave a lot more white than you are comfortable with almost you've got to exaggerate it so I'm mixing up a very very dilute turquoise with a touch of the Payne's grey and just painting this very thin light wash onto the surface of the daisy petals here and there working wet on dry but then you can soften and blend as well with some clean water which is what I'm doing now as well so remember this is a very very dilute wash there aren't a lot of shadows on those daisies so really sort of paint the minimum that you can So you can allow your painting to dry again. So I felt my painting lacked any warmth and I wanted to bring those sort of daisies forward a bit more. So I'm adding some red, cadmium red, permanent yellow. Just use a red and a yellow, more yellow than red. And I'm just sort of painting in a little bit of this warm color, stippling it into the surface there, wet on dry, just to give a little bit more detail, but warmth as well, using my size six brush. 
the finish off my painting and I think I will leave it there for now. I'm just going to remove the washi tape. It does reveal a lovely white border and it gives you time to assess to see if you need to do any more work to your painting. It gives you a much more of an objective point of view and it also presents your work really well. So here's the finished painting. I'm really pleased with it. I love that bokeh effect. It's so effective and I really love daisies. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to support the content that I publish here on YouTube, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? You'll get access to weekly exclusive tutorials, longer, more in-depth tutorials, ad-free content and downloadable line drawings. More details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy daisy painting. Bye for now.